Hey there, and welcome to another Talent Cards walkthrough. In this video, we're going to go through the steps of creating new learners and inviting them to download the Talent Cards app and join your portal. Start by logging into your Talent Cards portal and navigating to the Users tab. Click the Add User button and fill in your learner's first and last name. In Talent Cards, you can register learners using either their email address or phone number. If you have both, feel free to fill them both in. If you'd like to add a photo of your learner, click the camera button and select the learner's photo from your computer. When you're finished, click Add User. When we navigate back to the Users table, you'll see that your newly created user appears as a new entry in your table. Every new user you create in Talent Cards has their own unique 12-letter identifier. This identifier serves as the user's unique password to log into the app and access your organization's training content. Now that you've created this new user, the next step is to invite them to download the Talent Cards app and log in using their unique identifier. Select your newly created user from the table and click the Invite User button. Depending on whether you created this user using their email or phone number, choose the corresponding invite method by email or by SMS. The From field is automatically filled in with your portal's group name, but you can edit this if needed. If you've selected email as your invite method, you can edit the email's subject line. In the body of the message, you'll see the default invite text. You can adjust this message, but keep in mind that fields placed between the percent symbols will be automatically filled in by the Talent Cards platform. These fields include the learner's first name, the relevant links to download the Talent Cards app from the Apple Store or Google Play Store, and the learner's unique 12-letter identifier they need to log in. You should avoid removing these fields from the invite message, since without them, your learners won't have the info they need to log in. Once you've finished making any adjustments to the message, click the Invite button. Your learner will instantly receive your email or text message. Once your learner has downloaded the Talent Cards app and typed in their 12-letter identifier, they will instantly gain access to your published card sets. You'll also see their joined status update in the Users table. The value for joined will change from no to yes, indicating that they have successfully logged into your portal. You can also see how recently they used the app under the last used column. Finally, the status column indicates whether your user is active or inactive. By default, when you create a new user in Talent Cards, their status is set to active. Active users take up a seat in your Talent Card subscription and can log into the app using their identifier. If you want to remove a user's ability to log into your Talent Cards portal and free up a seat in your plan, you can select them from the table and toggle their status to inactive. Doing so removes their login ability without deleting any of their progress or card set completions. To learn how you can mass import and invite learners into your Talent Cards portal, check out the next Talent Cards walkthrough on importing learners from an Excel file.